It's about 10 after 9. We left uh, Damascus about 8.30. Had a awesome sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit with a large coffee. That was phenomenal. Of course, yesterday, had a cheeseburger and french fries and a sweet tea. And then later on, I had a fried fish sandwich and french fries. No, tater tots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, chocolate chip cookie. Yep. It's little things in life you, uh, you miss, you know, like food. <laughs> I guess that's a pretty big thing. Anyway, so, yeah, um, Broken Fiddle Hostel was awesome. A lot of cool people. Uh, got some clothes washed. Um, got a resupply. It's super heavy, but it's not really hurting so bad like it normally does. So maybe maybe things are getting easier. I don't know. Maybe I just bought light food. Who knows? Anyway, I gotta climb this mountain here, and I'm think I'm gonna be skipping around all over the Virginia Creeper Trail, which is closed now. Um, not that I would care it anyway, because I believe in hiking the AT. I didn't come here to hike the Creeper Trail, which I know is easier. Um, I think there was a couple down there. They're actually going to carry the Creeper Trail as far as they can, and then and then head out, which I don't know how, because I thought it was closed. But even if it was open, I wouldn't be there. That's what I'm saying. So I'll come back another day when there ain't a coronavirus and I ain't hiking the AT. I'll get on a bike, and I'll ride the Creeper Trail, and I'll say, Ooh, look, this is nice. But right now... It's AT time. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Peace. Guess who's struggling today? This guy. I've already been on the trail about eight and a half hours. Almost nine. Should have already wrapped up 16, but just struggling today. Maybe I should have took a zero. Just chill out at the hostel. Uh, oh well. I ain't going back. Yeah. I don't know that I really just slept in any day when I've been on the trail since mile 275 and we're like at 45 or something. When you zeros, you, I guess you sleep in a little bit, but not really. Yeah, maybe I'll rest tomorrow. Nah, I know me. I'll get up and I'll start hiking. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Keep y'all updated. Peace. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Been up since about 6. But I don't feel like doing nothing. And now it's starting to rain a little bit. Got 13 miles to go today, um, but that'll probably happen later on, because I think I'm just enjoying resting. So, uh, yeah, I was struggling yesterday anyway. After a while, your body just, body just says it's time to chill, so that's where we're at. I hear some type of tractor or something out there working, I don't know, I'm at... Lost Mountain Shelter. And so far I've heard like crazy loud woodpeckers. But anyway, yeah, I've heard like cattle. Like there's a cow mooing over there earlier. And uh, so I think we're getting close to Grayson Highlands. Or we should be there in um, about a night. Um, somebody said the next shelter, there's like ponies everywhere. So I'll be sure to take some videos of that.
Everybody likes the ponies. Anyway, I'm going to get back to doing nothing. At least for a little while. Yeah. Peace. So it's raining. Yeah. And I just heard the forecast on the radio. It said it's going to be raining off and on all day. And raining heavy tonight. Maybe heavy. I don't know. But it's, the high's only going to be like 56 or something today. But tomorrow, the high's going to be 70. Still may be cloudy. But. So I don't know how many views we're going to see at Grayson Highlands. But anyway, hey, this is the uh, this is the shelter. This one's actually pretty nice. It's the first one I've seen in Virginia. Um, yeah. Storm come up, I would have no problem getting in there and sleeping. But anyway, yeah, I need to start rambling because, like, it's 9:15. I hadn't even hit the trail yet. But I am packed up, and hey, baby steps, right? Oh, oh yeah. Did something awesome this morning. I laid in my hammock and cooked breakfast. I made a bagel with cheese and had coffee while I was laying in the hammock. And it was awesome. And I should do that more often. You know why? Because I'm not at work. I don't have a schedule. I don't have to be anywhere anytime soon. Except for Maine. Before October 15th, so. But anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Peace. And these are the views from White Rock Mountain. At least I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Pretty nice today. Peace. About 7.15. Got on the trail about 7. Ain't even had breakfast or coffee yet. But, uh, the water source is way down the hill. I said, you know what? <clears throat> I'll just pack up and head to the first water source I hit on the trail, which is about 2.7 miles. Left my food in the bear box and, uh, it was a good bit um, past the shelter anyway, so it had been a waste of time to walk all the way down there, grab my food, walk all the way back, cook breakfast, and then walk all the way back by the bear box. So, yeah, sorry. Trying to avoid all this muddy mess. But, uh, anyway, had a great night's sleep last night. Wind was blowing. It's cold and rainy. Not me. Not under my tarp in my hammock. I was snug as a bug in a rug. So anyway, looks like it may clear up today. I'm starting to see some blue skies and that, that stuff. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called sunlight. Yeah. It's kind of bright, warm, makes you feel good. Yeah. I think I see some of that up there. So anyway, yesterday was tough. I did like, um... 13, maybe 14 miles, but and that ain't far. I think I was still struggling from the day before. I don't know. Just got tired. Still feel a little bit tired, but I'll take me a zero eventually. Maybe in Marion, Virginia. But uh, anyway, yeah, so at 13 miles yesterday, it was climbing and going up and up and up and up and up and up. And friggin' rocks and boulders and not easy trail to hike and it sucked. But got to see ponies last night. They look kind of gangster though. These ponies that were up there close to the shelter. I don't know. They's like giving me mean looks and stuff. Like they was like gangster ponies or something. I don't know. Maybe they just wanted someone to pet them and say hello. Uh-oh, we got a little birdie caught in something down here. Let me see if I can save this little... Oh, 
Never mind. He's free. Fly, birdie. Fly. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough action for one video. <laughs> anyway. Check that out. Kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Peace. Yo. So it's been a 16 mile day again. It took me like 11 hours to do it. Because I was beat. So right now we're at like 87 miles since I've had a zero. And I'm about ready for one. But I got 13 tomorrow. And probably 10 the next day. Or something like that. But I don't have another 16. So that's cool. So, uh, this is Hurricane Mountain Shelter. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Pretty nice shelter. And down there's the old hammock. So today, I went through Grayson Highlands. And, uh, ponies were cool. Um, yeah, you know, I know Grayson Highlands is an awesome place, and the ponies are awesome, and everything's so cool, but man, every time you get, uh, I'll, I'll just say it like this, if something reminds you of the Smoky Mountains, I probably don't want to hike there. I know it's beautiful, but man, the terrain is tough, it's like just boulders and rocks all day long that's all you're walking on so it's like hope your balance is on cue <laughs> but I don't know all in all I guess it's a good day I mean, too many days you see ponies on the trail speaking of animals so this shelter and gut hooks uh, past few times people say oh it's nice no mice it's pretty cool it's clean well, it is clean. It's awesome. But if you go back a year on gut hooks, they had a crazy bear here that was like stealing bear bags. And like, I talked with some, uh, there was a group of older ladies today that said that one bear had people uh, uh, backed up in the shelter and wouldn't let them out. I hope that bear don't come here tonight. But I think they got rid of the problems. They got bear boxes, so. I don't know. Might have to fight a bear tonight. Hope not. Anyway. I feel like Charlie Brown with all these gnats flying around. <laughs> anyway. This may be the last video. Um, because I think my minutes are getting close to about 15. Which is where I like to cut it off. So. Hopefully we'll see you soon on the next video. Um, Till next time. Peace.